Now, I'm about to drink me some of my 69 cent twist up. I got this from Walmart. Girl, even my pop's on the budget, okay? I'm on a budget 365 days of the year. Hi guys, it's Colin Berry. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you already know my extra ass, welcome back to my channel. You already know the drill. I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video. Anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. What do you think is the stupidest conspiracy theory most people believe? Now, I'm really about to be a hypocritical ass bitch by like telling you this because I know I made a video about this a long time ago and deleted it. And that is that Avril Lavigne was dead and was replaced by a clone. Honestly, when it was going around, I was shook because you know how like all the theories pop up and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, like everybody does that with every theory. But once the hype of it dies down and you really think about it with your common fucking sense, you're like, no, this makes no sense. Honestly, I feel bad for Avril because imagine going online and every time you post anything, every time you say anything at all or just fucking breathe, everyone was like, oh my God, you're Melissa, you replaced Avril. We want Avril back. And people passionately believe in this theory so much to the point where this girl gets harassed in her comments by it. That's just so fucked up. But another theory that I don't believe in, and this is just like multiple theories, is whenever people say that the world is going to end, like every time that they say that, obviously I get a little fucking like shook because everybody's gonna do that because nobody wants to like die like at like 18. Um, I haven't even had my first love. I haven't even fucking had a relationship, girl. Like what the fuck? But for the most part though, I don't really let it get to me. Like I don't 110% believe it. I'm like, this is just another one one of these bullshit ass things. Like April 18th, apparently the aliens are coming to invade us. So now somebody said conspiracy theories that I 110% believe in. Oh, they said 100%. I just added that 10% because I'm extra. Read all about me. I don't know because I feel bad sometimes when I believe in some of the theories because it's kind of disrespectful low key if it wasn't true. Like a lot of the family ones, like this person's not actually so-and-so's parent, like the Khloe Kardashian one with OJ being her father. I also believe in the Mandela effect because let's just be real here. These things are not just our our fucking memories and us being stupid. I do believe that things are changing. Can you make a video on the men in black? Yes, I will be making a video on the men in black super shortly because you guys have been requesting it so much after my last video and I'm excited about it, but I'm also horrified. Like, I'm excited because you guys are excited. Do people from your story times contact you after they've watched your video? Actually, yes. Sometimes people come to me being like, ah, ha, ha, I know you're talking about me. Or there have been instances though where people have been upset. Like this one time, somebody got pissed. Like, I had to take the video down because they were on my ass about the fact that I was talking about them. I didn't use their name or anything and they were just so angry they were gonna try to sue me. They were gonna try to bring me to court. Because I posted this video a long ass time ago, it's not on here. Only the OG OGs remember. It probably had like 2,000 views before I removed it. Like not a lot of people from this channel have seen it. And it was when I went to this writing retreat thing that I got invited to for my creative writing. And this boy, when I went to like go to the dorm that I was assigned, he was like masturbating like as I walked into the door. But anyway, to kind of summarize what happened, I told some of the other kids like what I saw that came with me from the school that I was from, because this guy was like from a totally different school, two hours away from where I was. And all my other friends from the school that I went to were like assigned, but because it was an odd number of boys, I got paired with this random ass bitch, right? So I told some people, I guess they ran their fucking big ass mouths. I went to this preppy school with a whole bunch of snobby ass bitches. I can make story times about them too. I can't stand any of these hoes. <laughs> but I guess one of them big mouth bitches went and ran back and told him like what I said. So I guess to get revenge, this bitch, when I was gone going to explore the campus, because this was at a college campus, this writing retreat, he fucking nutted on my fucking bed. And I came back into the room to like grab my stuff because I was actually going to go sleep on the floor of the dorm that these other two boys from my school were sharing. And when I went to go get my stuff, I saw it on the fucking bed and it was fresh as fuck. And it was disgusting. And oh my God, I'm going to fucking story time about it, but I took it off for a reason because it was just disgusting. Like it's, I don't even want to talk about it. Like it was traumatizing guys. But anyway, after that happened, this motherfucker got so angry because these kids, once again, these fucking big mouth annoying ass fucking bitches that I cannot stand. And you're probably watching my videos because some of y'all like to come to me later being like, I watch your channel now even though y'all were pieces of shit assholes to me in high school. Fuck you. They decided to go run their big mouth and go find this boy's Twitter who did it and go show him the video because I made a story time about it. And he lost 
his shit. He started going off about how I was slandering his name. I was like, bitch, I ain't slandering your name. You slandered my bed, bitch. What you mean? And he called like the lady that like ran the festival or whatever and like told her. And she called me and basically was like, you have to take this video down. I'm just gonna let you know, like essentially threatening me being like, if you don't take this video down, we're gonna have to like take legal actions. And I was like 15 during the time. Bitch, I had time for them problems. So I just took the video down. And then I re-uploaded it, but I didn't use any of their names of the festival or anything now, but I still deleted it because it was just nasty. So yeah, some people have said some shit after I made videos about them. What's the most bizarre dream you've ever had? Or what's the most memorable one? I've had so many bizarre weird dreams. Um, sex dreams, you bought in my Bitch, I have had them and they are so, so awkward. Has anybody had a sex dream? Be honest, do not lie. And then you go see them at school the next day and then you just like have to look them and you're just like, mm, yeah, I had a sex dream about you. And sometimes it'll be about random bitches that you have no interest in like at all. And somehow they'll just randomly make an appearance in your dream and be like daddy as fuck. What was one of the craziest things you've done as a child besides the stories you've told in your old videos? Okay, so I actually want to make a story time about this and like kind of add other childhood stories in the mix of it and go more into depth so I'll like briefly tell it in this one. Basically, I didn't know what the word purpose meant when I was younger. Like this is when I was like four years old. I was on the swing sets with this little girl. I just remember like me and her kind of had beef. Like I always wanted to get along with everybody. I used to cry when like people didn't like me. <laughs> me today. <laughs> but I was like swinging minding my own business. Like that's what I would do when like nobody wanted to play with me. I just like fucking swing and mind my own business. But this girl decided she wanted to get on swings too. And I was like twisting like the swing around. You know how you do when you're younger. You like twist it up and then it just goes in a circle like that. You know what I'm talking about girl. Come on. Throw that ass in a circle. Hey! If you move on march And I kicked her in the face. <laughs> on accident. So anyway, I was at this babysitter's house. So she came outside angry, obviously, because I kicked this girl in the face. So she was basically like asking me, did you do this on purpose? And my fucking three-year-old, four-year-old ass, however old I was during this time, very, very young. I didn't know what the fuck purpose meant or accident or anything like that. So then I was like, wait, what? Like, what are you talking about, girl? And she was like, did you do it on accident or did you do it on purpose? And accident just sounded harsher. Like it didn't sound like an innocent thing or a good thing. And then she said purpose. And I was like, oh girl, purpose, purple, grapes, bitch, yummy. Like, you know what I mean? Like it was a more pleasant word. So I was like, I did it on purpose. <laughs> So do you know those instances in movies where the character is about to get in some real deep ass shit, right? And as a viewer, you know that this character is innocent. You know what's about to happen, but the character doesn't. I was the character because this woman got so angry. She was like, you need to go in timeout right now. And I was just like, but, 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 st st like stuttering. And I should have just said, no, I did it on accident. I did it on accident, but my fucking dumb ass didn't know. So I was like, wait, what? Why, why am I in trouble? I'm so confused. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't even try to explain my case. I just like allowed myself to deal with the punishment that I didn't deserve. Who was my first ever celebrity crush? Actually, my first ever celebrity crush was Lindsay Lohan and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Okay, let me explain. So I grew up with Freaky Friday and Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Those movies are so good. If you haven't watched them, definitely do. You're depriving yourself of some real good classic movie magic. But I also was obsessed with Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I used to watch Scooby-Doo, like the real life Scooby-Doo movies and Sarah Michelle Gellar as Daphne. Oh my God, girl, I had a big, huge crush on her. I had a crush on Madison Pettis when I was like in elementary school. I used to like lie. Like as a child, I was like a pathological liar. I used to go around telling everybody that like my dad was like famous and then I'd be like, Madison Pettis is my sister. And people like really believe me because we're like both biracial or whatever. And also Zendaya, oh my God, Zendaya, top celebrity crush out of everybody. Jaden Smith, he is fine as fuck, but he is not my first and he certainly won't be my last. Michael B. Jordan, bitch! Can we talk for a minute? That boy from Love, Simon Blue, I'm not gonna spoil it. Just go watch the movie. It's good. I, Carly, or Victorious, a debate. Okay. <laughs> Do not judge me. I know some people are gonna get mad, but honestly, Victorious. Victorious was a fucking iconic ass show, and yes, it did not last as long as we had hoped. Yes, it did not get to do the impact that I, Carly, got to do because it wasn't around long enough to do the impact that I, Carly, did. Now, I love that Carly, don't get me wrong, but Victorious was that show. It brought us Ariana Grande, girl. Like, Trina, come on. 
Chicago! That fucking iconic ass scene. Jade West, the lesbian icon that we deserve. And just so much more. All right, I think it's about time to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so fucking much. The fact that you guys support me the way you do and come back every week and just show the love that you do and are so consistent with me even when I'm not consistent at all because I'm a piece of trash and I delete all my videos and just go on weird ass sprees or rant about nothing and you guys still watch and show the love that you do. It means the fucking world to me. I really want you to know that. It really does. But if you like this video, please make sure to click that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Also click that bell to be notified every single time that I post a new video because YouTube hates me. Also comment down below letting me know what other type of videos you want to see me do this week. If you guys want to see me do more conspiracy theories, I'm so down for it because I have so many planned. I might do a conspiracy week. I don't know. Would y'all be down for it? Let me know in the comment. But yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching this and I will see you super soon with a new video. I love you. Bye.